Hi, this is a short video to give you a flavour of how Alteryx workflows connected to your SAP systems and saved to the Alteryx server can give easy access for multiple users across your organisation to formatted and current SAP data. Also, the server can be used to schedule workflows to automate data from SAP via Alteryx to downstream analytic platforms like Tableau and Power BI. Okay, let's start with this workflow I've prepared, pulling data from a couple of SAP tables, BKPF and BSEG, joining them, and then passing them through a couple of Alteryx tools to tidy them up and eventually creating an Alteryx database. I've also added some interface tools which allow the user to input some parameters into my workflow, and this creates an analytic app. I can run the app by clicking here, and you can see that as a user I'm being asked to input a user and a password. The third value, the system actually, in this case I've hard-coded, but there's no reason why we couldn't have that as an, an input too. So let's enter those, and then once that's done we can finish, which runs the application and creates for us, as you can see, an Alteryx database. So we can go and look at the output from our workflow, and assuming all is correct then we've passed our test and we can think of pushing this workflow across into the Alteryx server and to do that's pretty simple we go to file save as and we choose a private gallery of our company's server or gallery in Alteryx we can give our workflow or app in this case um, a name we can also choose the worker that we want it to run on if you have multiples and then add details as you can see there. Um, we've got a few options so we can validate when it's saved across to the server um, sensible to leave that on. We can manage the uh, the assets within um, our, our workflow so output and this top one is the um, embedded macro that's in in the workflow and uh, finally we can uh, secure our uh, workflow over on the server by setting um, a lock which means that um, users can't um, access it and change it. Not going to turn that on for now. Just going to leave as is and I'm going to save and it's as easy as that. And once that's saved I can flip over to my gallery view. Here it is and there's my application my workflow sitting on the, on the server. We can uh, see the details there and we can see that it's run or uh, been checked at least already and we can run it. As you can see we get the same inputs so I can input my, uh, my user again and my password and it will run just as we tested it. The beauty of doing this of course is that the user that's using the, um, the application it's their authorizations that are being used here. And just to reiterate, the parameter that's input could be anything. It could be a GL account, it could be any filter that we want to apply. So the user sees the data that's relevant to them. They can, if they like, in this workflow, download to um, an Alteryx database, say, or those multiple file types that are available. And if we open that, then they see live, as it were, SAP data because we've had the server connect directly into SAP. Okay, let's flick back to Alteryx now. I'm going to change my workflow so that we can show it in a different light. I'm going to take out these um, interface tools and the dynamic input and just check that the, the logon is correct as I'm going to use my credentials as a designer to log on to SAP. Now that ping was okay, so we're all good to run our workflow. Workflow isn't running as an analytic app anymore because we've taken the interfaces out so we can see it running in the designer But we do get exactly the same output as before as you can see in the browse tool here So our test went well, so again, we can save this across Publish it into the gallery just change the name so it's um, slightly different and then save that across into our server Once that's done we can jump across we can see it here and we can see again that we've got all the options from before. Just one note, we can uh, put it into our company's gallery or we can maybe add it to a collection which is like a folder. 
The one thing I do want to show you here though is the scheduling, which as you can see we can run recurring once or have custom um, scheduling. I'm just going to run it once here. So let's just put um, a time in the relatively near future. And once all is done and we're all happy, we can save that schedule and run it. That should run very quickly. And there it is. We can see it was scheduled this time. And when we open this up, we can see that the data has been downloaded for us. Now, obviously, we push that to a database in terms of an Alteryx database here. But there's no reason why that end of flow couldn't be, as you can see, something like um, a SharePoint or uh, maybe uh, an Amazon S3 bucket. Um, there are also another set of uh, possible outputs such as Power BI, um, Tableau, Salesforce, uh, which you can see here. So lots of possibilities for automating end-to-end -end from SAP live data across into our target systems. That's the end of the video now, but if you'd like to learn more, then please visit us on our website at dvwanalytics.com. Thank you.